Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Espinosa. I'm back with ICE this week, and we have another story for you that goes along with Mrs. Eames' story about Schubert's ransom raves. Our story, this book, is called A Little Spot of Responsibility, a story about making good choices, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Spot, and I'm not just any ordinary Spot. I'm a Spot of Responsibility. I'm here to help you make good choices. I've never seen a Responsibility Spot before. Oh, I want to make good choices. Every time you make a good choice, your responsibility spot grows and it makes you feel more confident and happy. That's why I'm going to show you some ways you can make good choices to grow your responsibility spot. Did you know you have the power to make choices? We all want to make choices that have positive outcomes. And that's why I made this little decision chart to help you. Decision chart, stop, stop, and identify the problem. Think about positive and negative consequences and gather your information. Make a choice and reflect on the outcome. You are going to experience a lot of choices in your life. Some decisions are easy and some are not. But in order to have the best chance of making a good choice, you should try to use the decision chart. Let's see how the decision chart works on a choice you make every day, like what you should wear. Stop. Problem. You aren't sure what to wear. Information, it's pretty cold outside. If you wear shorts, you might get cold. Choice, you wore warm clothes. Reflection, it was a great choice because you weren't cold. Woohoo! Adults have the ability to predict consequences you can't yet. They can do this because they have been making choices a lot longer than you have, which gives them a lot of experience. They have a lot of knowledge that can help you make good choices. That's why it's important to consider what adults say. Babies, 1,000 choices. Kids or child, 10,000. Adult, 100,000. Elderly, 1 million choices. Now, boys and girls, Ice and I know sometimes it's not easy when you're upset to listen to grown-ups' ideas and their advice. But I think that maybe our book is telling us it's an, a good idea to at least hear them out. They might help you make a better choice. Can I get a puppy? Sometimes you may want to take on a big task and need the help of an adult to make a choice. But they may not agree with what you want to do. It's a good choice to start out with something that doesn't require as much responsibility, like getting a plant instead of getting a puppy. Puppies need feeding, bathing, walking, training, etc. And your responsibility spot may not be big enough yet. Caring can grow your responsibility spot. <clears throat> Playing games is a lot of fun. It's a good choice to play by the rules and not cheat. Honesty can help grow a responsibility spot. You shouldn't leave your toys out because they can get damaged or broken easily. It's a good choice to put things back in their places and not just throw them in a closet. It lets people know that you can put things away properly. Being reliable can help grow a responsibility spot. And you know what? When you put your things away, boys and girls, the next time you go to play, you'll be able to find them. Sometimes at our house, Ice and his brother and sister often do what Schubert did in the book and, rant and rave when they can't find something. And it's usually because they didn't put it where it belonged. Try to do something for someone where you don't expect a reward in return. It's a good choice to help clean up even if you didn't make the mess because it's nice to help. Kindness can help grow a responsibility spot. How did this mess get so big? I'll help you clean it up. You know what else? Kindness can also help avoid ranting and raving. 
Sometimes it's easy to blame other people for the choices you make. It's a good choice to accept responsibility for your actions, even when it's hard to do. When you do this, you gain respect from others. Trust can help grow your responsibility spot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock over the vase. Look around and be aware of your surroundings. It's a good choice to do things before you are told, like putting your toys away when you are done using them. Being proactive, that means thinking ahead and doing it before, can help grow your responsibility spot. And guess what? Both of these choices help avoid grown-ups getting into ranting and raving too. When you just admit that you did something and say you're sorry, or you put things away or help out before a grown-up asks, that makes them a little calmer and they're less stressed too. We all want things to last a long time and we don't want to get injured while using them. So it's a good choice to practice scissor safety, not poking holes in erasers and keep the eraser on the pencil. Sit while cutting, pass the scissors handles first, hold the blade when down when walking, walk slowly when handling scissors. Respecting things can help grow your responsibility spot. Click the caps so markers and glue don't dry out. Use as instructed so they don't get damaged. Clean up your area when you are done so nothing gets lost. A calendar is a great tool to help you remember dates. It's a good choice to turn in assignments when they are due. Stay organized. Staying organized can help grow your responsibility spot. Boy, we really need this right now. It's hard when you're at home and you're doing all your Google Classroom assignments. We do that at our house. Sometimes we write down on the calendar what we will do each day. That helps Ice and Ceci Antonio stay organized and not forget to do work. Showing up when you're supposed to is a great way of demonstrating you value other people's time. It's a good choice to be on time to school or an event or an activity. Being punctual, that means on time, can help grow your responsibility spot. When you have a lot of tasks to complete, it can be easy to forget a couple of them. It's a good choice to create a list so you can remember to complete each task you agreed to do. Being dependable can help grow your responsibility spot. Feed the fish, set the table, return the library books. Guess what, boys and girls? Mrs. Espinosa and Mrs. Eames make to-do lists every day. And then we remind each other what we have to put on them so we don't forget to do anything. It really helps us to stay organized. If you're feeling pressured to do something you think is wrong, it's a good choice to say no. Courage can help your responsibility spot. Sometimes your emotions can get pretty big. It's a good choice to guide your big emotions to a peaceful spot. This not only helps you, but the others around you too. Managing your emotions can help grow your responsibility spot. And we saw that in our book where Schubert rants and raves, he had to learn to manage his emotions when he was really disappointed about something. There are lots of things you could do for yourself instead of having your caregivers do them for you. It's a good choice to try and get yourself dressed, make your bed, and turn off the lights. Taking initiative can grow your responsibility spot. Sometimes it's hard, though, to remember to do things like your homework. It's a good choice to have a schedule so you know what needs to be done every day and at what time, like doing your homework as soon as you get home, or maybe right now it's doing your schoolwork as soon as you finish breakfast and brush your teeth so you don't forget. Creating a routine can grow your responsibility spot. Do you have a routine at your house, boys and girls? Do you? So do we. We eat breakfast every morning, get dressed, brush our teeth, and then we start our Google Classroom. It's important to take care of your body. It's a good choice to eat well, keep clean, and get plenty of rest. 
This shows that you care about yourself. Being healthy can grow your responsibility spot. Let's see what she does. She's brushing her teeth. She's eating her veggies and fruit, brushing her hair and keeping clean and getting plenty of rest. Right now, especially, sometimes we're tempted at our house to stay up late watching TV. But I remind Ice and Ceci Antonio, we need to get a good night's sleep and go to bed early so tomorrow we're not cranky and tired. We all want to stay well. It's a good choice to cover your mouth when you cough. Being courteous to others by not spreading germs can help grow your responsibility spot. Use soap. Wash your hands after using the bathroom. And we know now more than ever, these are some really important things we need to be doing. Okay, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed learning how to grow your responsibility spot. I actually have some other spots I'd like you to meet too. We all belong in the happiness family. Respectful, thankful, honesty, organization, courage, patience, and kindness. And right there is our decision chart, boys and girls. Stop and identify the problem. Gather information about the positive, that means good, and negative, that means not so good, consequences. Make a choice and reflect on the outcome. That means think about how did it turn out. So there's our chart, boys and girls. And I will make sure I put a copy of this onto Google Classroom if you want to print it out, or maybe you want to make your own decision chart and hang it in your safe place. So here's Schubert. Do you remember what happened to him? He forgot his permission slip for the school field trip. Look at his face. He is really upset. In this moment, Schubert needed to stop and identify the problem. He needed to say, uh-oh, I forgot to bring my permission slip. Then he needed to gather information and think about positive and negative consequences. Like if I rant and rave, what's going to happen? Or if I just accept it. Then he had to make a choice and he had to reflect on his outcome. Here is the choice that Schubert made, boys and girls. He ranted and raved. And you know what? Ice and I thought, this looks like our house. We've seen people do this before. So my question is, did Schubert really stop and think like he should have? Right, boys and girls, he did not. He didn't think about the negative consequence of having a tantrum or ranting and raving. He let himself get bug crazy, and that didn't help. So Ice and I talked about what can we do when we go bug crazy? And Schubert in the story, remember, a grown-up helped him and they helped him go and calm down and breathe. So here's some things that Ice and I wanted to remind you. Remember, you can always go to the safe place when you need to calm down, when you feel like you need to make a big choice, especially if you're feeling big emotions. So remember, I am going to the safe place. I calm, I pick one of my breathing, I feel, I talk about my feelings, I choose, I choose something else to help me calm, and then I solve. So there's our chart in case you need a reminder. And remember, sometimes it takes longer to stay in the safe place and sometimes you can come out right away. The other day, Ice's sister had to stay in for 30 minutes. She just wasn't calm yet and she needed more time. Here's another thing we can choose to do, right? We can say from the tip of my finger to the middle of the, my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. This worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. So there's a choice you can make that's responsible. When you feel angry or disappointed, you can take a breath. We can also do this breathing where we count the spots in our palm and you count to four and you breathe every time. There's another good choice that would be responsible. If I'm feeling upset or disappointed or sad, I can be responsible and choose to breathe and use my peaceful spot. 
And there are our four breathing. Remember, there's a star, a balloon, a drain, and a pretzel. And you can always re-watch Mrs. Eames' video of how to do those four breathing exercises. And of course, you can put on your optimistic glasses like we talked about last week. I got some great pictures from a few people and I loved them. Maybe you just need to put on your glasses and see the positive and think about the good. It might help you. So from the book Schubert Rants and Raves, he asks a question. What helps me go from bug crazy mad to caterpillar calm? So think about that this week and see how you can be responsible when you get bug crazy mad and figure out good ways and use those steps from our book. Ice wanted to show you some ideas of things that he likes to do. One, of course, he goes to the safe place. He also loves to color. That really calms him down. Sometimes, too, he likes to read a book. Corduroy is his favorite. Ice finds when he reads a book that he's read before, it calms him down. He likes to read books more than one time. And he loves to just snuggle in a soft blanket. That really calms him down. And lately, Ice's favorite breathing is the drain. Ice wants to know what's your favorite breath. Maybe you could show him this week. So this week, boys and girls, if you want to take a picture of what helps you when you're bug crazy mad to get down to Caterpillar Calm, go ahead and draw it for us and you can take a pic and give it, send it to us or send a picture of yourself doing something to calm down. We would love to see your pictures. So as always, I end with my favorite slide. You are safe. You can handle this. Remember to star. Stop, smile, take a breath, and relax. And this week, boys and girls, I have a video for you about when you feel like you're getting one tea. That's when sometimes you just really want a lot of things and you want them now and you get upset. We thought, Ice and I, that this video kind of went along with making responsible choices and it went along definitely with Schubert because he ranted and rave it, raved over something he wanted. So I hope you can follow that link on our assignment and try this breathing to help you. Remember always, we miss you and we love you. And here we go. Put out your arms. I'm taking my breath. And here it comes. I'm sending you all my wish well and love until my next video. Here it comes. <sighs> I hope you caught it, boys and girls. Have a great week and stay safe.